Hello and welcome to ITC TechShare. I'm Tom Grissom. Today I would like to share you some of the advancements we've been making here at the ITC at Eastern Illinois University. So first of all, I'd like to ask what happens whenever you mix a teacher together with a gamer along with a Hollywood producer and an IT professional. You end up with what we are calling One Take One Boarding version 3.1. In the last episode, a couple weeks ago, I introduced you to what we're calling One Boarding version 3.0. Since that time, we've made a little bit of tweaks and some advancements, and today I'd like to share with you uh, some of those advancements. So first of all, what is One Boarding? One Boarding is where we use OneNote, a OneNote notebook, as the basis, as a foundation for our online teaching and learning, but it could also be face-to-face -face or a combination of the two. And it's using a combination of pedagogies and technologies to improve the teaching and learning process. So in version 3.0, we kept it pretty simple. We were just using a video camera, and then we were recording our screencast, and then in the end, we would mesh the two together and come up with what we were calling One Boarding version 3.0. Since that time, we've made a, a number of advancements, but first of all, I'd like to remind everyone what, what we're doing here is, let me go to my draw menu here, is we always want to remember that it's a pedagogy first approach. So how do we improve the teaching and learning process? The pedagogy always comes first, and it's easy to get distracted with all the bells and whistles, and this technology certainly empowers us to reach out and literally teach the world now. So let's take a look at version 3.1. And since that first introduction, we've added an extra piece. And I've got together here, and what I have highlighted in orange are the new pieces here. So what we have is a PC that's running video switching software. In this case, it's a free open source program called OBS. And that's kind of the gamer twist to this. If you're an Xbox gamer, a PlayStation gamer, you're probably familiar with Twitch.tv. And, you know, literally millions of, of, uh, of our students are out there streaming to these live services out there. So it's certainly nothing new. But we've taken that video switcher, plugged it into this equation, uh, along with OneNote and our device with digital inking. And then I'm just simply using a webcam in this case. So it's just a 1080p webcam. So it's certainly affordable and doable uh, with uh, just a, mod a modest budget. So we've added the switcher, and then we take this, we're recording it in one take, so it's very much like a face-to-face -face class. It's not going to be perfect, but we also do not have to deal with the post-production and a little bit of that extra time that it takes with our version 3.0. Now, one of the advantages of using OneNote is you get to use this digital pen. So, and I, I did this in the previous example, we can very easily go out and annotate something. So I'm just using my pen to annotate and the advantage to this is I can literally draw if I need to outline South America here it's on my screen on my device right here and I have the pinpoint precision of this digital pen so I can very quickly come out here and outline the coast of South South America there that's unlike some other technologies where you have the green screen behind you and kind of that weatherman effect where you're trying to go out here and, and reach and and point to something and line everything up very easy to do because we're actually using a OneNote page. In my last video, I gave you this example, and this is up to you whenever you're doing this one take one boarding, but the foundation is OneNote. And to prove that, if you look right here, that is the page title for our OneNote page. It's up to you whether you want to crop that out and record that in your video. I kind of like having it because it's kind of out there as a reference for our students because our students are actually getting a copy, an exact copy of these notes. So it's no longer guess what's in the teacher's head. They go home, try and do some homework and things. It's literally just a click away. And since most of our students have smartphones today, they can access these one, the OneNote notebook from their digital device. So this is an example, as I said before. The other thing that I'd like to point out, since this is OneNote, it's very easy to add grid lines, so I'm just one click away if I'm out there graphing equations, and it's just as easy to go out there and choose none. So it's very, very easy to do. In the last episode, I shared this example, and once again, there's a lot of conceptual knowledge here that we can take advantage of with annotations and digital ink. The last piece, the Microsoft Forms. So here is an embedded Microsoft Form 
one of the things that we always want to do as teachers is kind of gauge where our students are at, you know, doing an assessment. So here's a very simple solar system quiz. Let me just go out here and answer the question. What's the red planet? That would be Mars. What planet is that? And let me select Earth. Let's get it correct here. And then whenever I hit submit, it will go out there, return immediately. So I can see I, as a student taking this quiz, I received two out of two points. And then if I would like, I can come up here and go to this particular page for my OneNote notebook. And since I haven't limited this, I can submit multiple responses out there. Let me bring up a browser. So right here, we can see in near real time, this is the output of our Microsoft form. So we've got one vote in essentially. Let me add a second vote here with my form and let me get this correct. So Mars, Earth, and whenever I hit submit, within a matter of a couple of seconds, we're seeing in near real time. Let me go ahead and just to prove to you that this is in near real time, let's submit another response. But this time I'm going to miss the first one. So I'm going to say that's Jupiter. And the second question I'm going to continue to get right, that's Earth. And whenever I press submit, you'll be able to see the pie chart. So now we have a total of three votes and you can see the total right here. So we're near real time immediately getting this. So whether this is a face-to-face -face class, an online class or a blended uh, class, something in between, we're able to get a lot of that input available to us using this onboarding version 3.1. So let's finish up here and talk about the benefits. Obviously organization, OneNote kind of serves as that natural organizer out there. It's very much like a three ring binder. Everybody understands sections and pages. You just one click away. So let's go ahead and check that. Multimedia presentation format. Our students are very used to watching YouTube videos, flip classroom type videos, very easy to do. And freeform digital ink annotations. I, I can't tell you how much of a fan I am for digital ink because it allows you to draw the student's attention. But even better than that, it's not ephemeral. These notes last so a student can go back and check on them again and again. So freeform digital ink, teaching on the fly, those teachable moments. Access on demand, 24 7, 365. I give the students access to this OneNote notebook. They have an exact copy of the teacher's notes. And then repetition, kind of the mother of all learning. Any, any elementary teacher will tell you that. You know, play, pause, rewind, repeat, watch as many times as necessary for mastery learning to get the concept. And then lastly, we saw an example there with uh, Microsoft Forms that we can go out and uh, see an example of follow up and feedback. And that allows us to individualize the instruction if we need to. So that's it, our next evolution, what we're calling one take, one boarding version 3.1. So until next time, this is Tom Grissom. Keep on learning.